My name is Martin. In my video today, I will show you how you can make use of multi-factor or token authentication using the Aruba Via VPN solution. Please be aware that I assume Aruba Via has already been configured and that you have a working radio server in your environment. We will be making use of Wicked Authentication Server as the multi-factor server for this demo. I will also not cover the initial setup of Wicked, as detailed setup procedures can be found on the Wicked website. Having said that, let's get to it. We will make use of two authentication sources. The initial source is the internal database. This will allow us to establish the first VIA connection and download the VPN profile. The second source is our NPS server which will be our RADIUS and AD server for the demonstration. This gets used after the initial profile download, but we will see more of this later. Here we have our internal database user, which is me with a local password. Next we have our RADIUS NPS server. Both of these link to a link back to a respective server group which gets used in the profiles for VIA. Now let's take a look where they link in. First we need to define our authentication profiles which we will be using for VIA. One for the local database and one for NPS. The initial connection request from the VIA client is a web request using HTTPS. For this connection we pointed to the default authentication profile which uses the local database. Next we need to tell VIA by means of a profile that it needs to use NPS or RADIUS for authentication. This we set under the VIA profile configuration. We will need to go to the advanced settings and here we can see that the NPS wicker profile has been selected. And that's basically the configuration on the Aruba controller. Now let's take a look at the wicked server. The first thing we need to do is add a domain. The important bit here is to add your reachable public IP address for wicked as a zeroed IP address. This is also important later when configuring the mobile token client, so make sure it's correct. Next we need to add the network client. In our case, since we are using NPS as the radio server, NPS will be our network client. We bind this client to the domain we created and the type of authentication we expect, in this case radius. When this is done, we are basically good to go. The only thing missing is users. There are two ways to add users to Wicked, which is a once-off validation step. You can pre-register them with a CSV type file. We won't be covering this method in this video. The other alternative is manually. When the Wicked token client connects, it will generate a registration request, which we will validate manually on the server. Before we get to this step, Let's take a quick look at the NPS configuration. As you can see, on the NPS, the Aruba controller is set up as a RADIUS client. In the connection request profile, I have used the condition that the request needs to originate from the Aruba controller. And then for authentication, we forward the request to Wicked. Which then matches the username to the token. We are now ready to have a look how this process will flow from a mobile client perspective.
Here we have a mobile client. These are two apps that you can download from the App Store, Via and Wicca Token. They are also available for other platforms such as Android and Windows. Let us first go through the Wicked setup. Once the app is installed, initially it will ask you for a passphrase. This is similar to a password allowing access to the app. When this is done, we need to set up the domain. This is where the zeroed IP address becomes important. Now you need to create a personal PIN. This PIN needs to be entered every time you request a token. The next step will give us a verification code. This is only for reference purposes and it also provides a way, should you be doing the verification manually, that you can tie the correct user to the correct verification request. Let's register the user in Wicked. As we can see, the registration code match that of the one that we received on the client. Selecting that, we enter the AD username that we expect from the client and we register him. So this is Wicked Setup done. We can now move on to VIA. On our mobile client, we open the VIA app. As this is our initial installation of the VIA app, we need to download a profile for the user. Let's put in our server details. And we will use the user details on the internal database of the controller. Once the profile is downloaded, now comes the moment of truth. When we establish the connection, we now need to enter our AD username and the token as password. As you can see, the connection established successfully and we have a secure way of accessing our corporate resources while in untrusted areas such as coffee shops, airports or any other remote location. This additional security layer provides a little more comfort that although your AD account might be compromised, the attacker still cannot gain access to your network remotely. You now also need to know your passphrase, your Wicked token app and your PIN to request an authentication token. With this, my demo is concluded. Thank you for watching and I hope it has been useful to you. Bye for now.